Welcome to the Australian sugar industry. Sugarcane is grown along a 2,000 kilometre stretch of Australia's east coast, from far north Queensland to northern New South Wales. Around 4,500 farmers grow some 35 million tonnes of sugarcane each year. Australian sugarcane is sustainably produced and is accredited under the Bon Sucro International Certification or Smart Cane Best Management Practice Program. The first step in making sugar is planting the sugarcane. Planting generally takes place in autumn and spring, depending on the region. It starts with growers preparing the soil using tractors and tillage equipment. The crop is planted using freshly cut lengths of sugarcane stalk, called billets. Sugar Research Australia works with the industry to develop varieties of sugarcane suited to each different growing region. The planter buries the billets with some fertiliser directly into the ground. GPS technology is used to plant the crop in straight and evenly spaced rows. Sugarcane grows for one to two years depending on the variety, region and local climate. Whilst it grows, the sugarcane crop helps the environment by absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere at a rate of 62 tonnes per hectare per year. Sugarcane is burnt prior to harvesting when the crop is either two years old, has a lot of leaf matter on the stalk, or there's been a cyclone or major storm damage. This job is taken very seriously and growers work together in teams to ensure each cane fire is conducted safely. Harvesting typically happens from May to November. Machines guided by GPS cut the cane stalks, which can grow to well over two metres tall. Ongoing trials run by Sugar Research Australia strive to make improvements for the most efficient harvesting rates. Haul-out buggies or tractors with trailers follow the harvesters to collect the chopped up billets of cane. These billets are transferred to truck or train transport bins. Once filled, the transport bins are taken directly to the sugar mill via road or rail. Now it's time to see how raw sugar is made. A fully loaded cane truck must arrive at this sugar mill every six minutes to keep it crushing continuously. On arrival at the mill, the cane bins or trucks are weighed and then they tip the cane into a shredder that breaks apart the billets. Rollers squeeze the juice from the shredded cane. The fibre left after the juice is extracted is called bagasse. This bagasse is used to fuel a boiler which generates power to run the entire milling operation making us self-sufficient for our energy needs. The cane juice goes through a series of heating, clarifying, evaporating and crystallising stages. Once sugar crystals form, they are separated in a fast spinning centrifuge and then dried in a large rotary drum. The raw sugar is stored in silos or sheds until it is needed. Most of Queensland's raw sugar is exported by ship to countries in Asia. Some Queensland sugar and all of the sugar made in New South Wales is sold as either a food grade raw sugar or refined locally into white and caster sugar for the Australian market. The Kondong Sugar Mill in the Tweed Valley manufactures food grade raw sugar and a low GI raw sugar. Australian sugar mills use the crushed cane stalk residue, referred to as bagasse, to generate not only their own electricity, but some also feed co-generation plants that power their local communities. Now, let's find out how the sugar is made so clean and white. We have four sugar refineries in Australia that operate all year round using the stored sugar. The refining process gives the raw sugar crystals a deep clean, washing off all of the molasses and plant matter that was left during the making of the raw sugar. This leaves us with pure white sucrose crystals. Being a food grade product, the refined sugar is analysed in a laboratory and tested to food safety and quality standards. 
food grade sugar is put into various types and sizes of packaging to suit the many kinds of customers across the country. A number of Australian made sugar brands are available in supermarkets. This state-of-the-art warehouse facility, located at Harwood in New South Wales, is used for storage and distribution of finished sugar goods. It is from here that Sunshine Sugar, which is grown and made in New South Wales, is delivered to retailers and food and beverage manufacturers across Australia. So, when you're buying cane sugar in your local supermarket that is labelled Product of Australia, you can be confident you are buying a natural product that comes straight from the sugarcane grown here in Queensland and New South Wales. Sugar from sugarcane, 100% natural and sweetened only by nature. Thank you for joining us on this Australian sugar industry paddock to pack tour.